is how I got this really nice look, which is inspired by three things actually. One, being my nail color. Two, which is actually Sandra Deluxe. She just did a look that's that look almost like this. Same under eye. And also Oliver at Oliver underscore M U A on Instagram did this really nice look. Um, I believe a couple of months ago. I saw it and I just had to do it. Like I really had to do it. So I'm inspired by all of those things and I thought I should do a video for you guys, show you guys how I did this look. And also if you want to learn about this nail color, I did a video on that as well, which should be linked down below. And yeah, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Uh thank you guys for watching. See you later. Guys, I'm starting off with some vitamin E oil. Since I have combination skin, this is definitely perfect to keep my face hydrated throughout the day. Two face lip injections, definitely the perfect thing to help prep your lips for your lipstick. I'm using this to help keep my lips moisturized and plump. Time to prime with Maybelline Master Prime Primer. This is perfect to help your face be smooth so when you add on that foundation, it goes on flawlessly. Time to conceal with LA Girl Orange Concealer. I have these dark circles and it's time to say bye bye by color correcting. It is foundation time. By combining two foundations, I find my perfect shade. I'm using NARS in New Guinea and Maybelline in 330 Toffee. Shake them up a bit and make sure you mix them together so that way it's the perfect shade for your face. Combining these two foundations, I get the perfect mix of weightless, luminous, and definitely full coverage. As I said, I do have these dark circles, so I'm going in with LA Girl Warm Honey Concealer to help get rid of them a little bit better and also to help brighten up my face. I'm applying this under my eyes, bridge of my nose, forehead, above my lip, chin, and also under where I usually contour. Time to set my face and sing a bit. I am using Sasha Cosmetics in Buttercup just to help get those creases not to crease. I'm applying this with a cosmetic sponge. It goes on just a little bit better than using a brush. Time to blend away all the excess powder that you've placed and baked. using a spoolie brush your hairs in place. I'm going in with e.l.f. gel chocolate eyeliner. This stuff is the bomb. It doesn't move. It doesn't smudge. So for the first eyeshadow I'm using is going to be from Essence Natural Palette. These palettes are so pigmented and definitely super duper affordable. I'm applying that first shadow in my crease. It's just a dark brown color. You can use any color you choose for this. 
I'm using my BH Cosmetics First Edition 120 palette. I'm going in with two gold shades just to help brighten up my eyes a bit. And I'm placing this on my lid. Now I'm going in with these very beautiful aqua colors. I'm using two different blues. One is a lighter blue and one is a little deeper. I'm starting by my inner corner and then I'm moving it to the bottom. Making sure you smoke it out on your lower lash line. You want to go ahead and upward motion so it creates a wing. I'm going in with my essence palette one more time just to deepen that crease a bit and then you're going to see that I go in with the gold shade on my lid one more time just to brighten it up a little bit more. Time to contour. I'm going in with LA Girl Beautiful Bronze Concealer. This is probably one of the most beautiful shades I've honestly seen. Like the bomb. So yeah, just going in, I'm doing my forehead, uh, cheekbones of course, bridge of my nose, just your regular places. I'm going to blend this out and then you're going to see how that looks. Time to clean up our eyeshadow a little bit. I want it to be a little bit more crisp, so I'm going in with the same concealer I used to brighten up under my eyes. And I'm actually going to blend in with my BH Cosmetics Malibu palette. I'm going to actually put on some blush, which you can barely see on camera. Next up, I'm using my Pure Mascara that I got from BeautyCon New York 2016, which was in the haul. Link to that will be in the description box down below. Can't go wrong with some white eyeliner to help those eyes pop a bit. So I'm actually placing that in my lower lash line. Time to set that phase. We're using Wet n Wild Setting Spray Photo Focus. This stuff is the bomb. It gives you that beautiful glow and also it will make your makeup stay on all day. Time to highlight. I'm using this gold shadow also with this beautiful pearl color. Mixing those definitely give you a natural looking glow. Time to wipe away Too Faced Lip Injections and prep for your lipstick. I'm going in with Just Color 03 Flamenco. Next up, I'm adding Just Color 05 Chocolate right on top to give me a lighter look. As you can see, I was not feeling that and I had to put on MAC Lip Tensity Toast and Butter. This is a natural brown look. It's very beautiful.